Hi everyone. Uh, on the previous video, folder view list. Uh, we've already installed uh, Ubuntu as our uh, development environment by installing NVM and Node.js. Uh, and now in this video, to show that we can reset the Ubuntu environment to the default setting to have a clean installation. Uh, in this video, I'm going to reset that Ubuntu. Okay, now well, let's get started. Uh, right now, I'm on my desktop, Windows 11, using NVIDIA Screen Reader, and I have my Ubuntu terminal open. Stream, Streamlabs desk, whisker at WSC colon. This one. Ubuntu to check I'm gonna type LSB line release space this A to show the version of the Ubuntu LB L F E E E D A command tick SB line release tick not found comma Apple FB L F E E E release A code name release description colon Ubuntu 2 release colon 20.04 code name colon focal this is also we are at the at Ubuntu uh now to validate the nvm not version manager it is 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 installed i'm going to type nvm space dash v version to display the version of the nvm and v vm dash v um space again m n dash v 0.39.2 ubuntu 0.39.2 so nvm is installed uh now we are going to reset ubuntu uh for the record after we reset the ubuntu the installed ubuntu will be no more so basically we are removing the installed ubuntu and we have to install it again we don't have to download it because uh to install the ubuntu first we have to download ubuntu after the ubuntu is in our uh, desktop we run the app and it, it will initialize, initialize itself and it is installed uh, so so because <coughs> after after resetting the ubuntu later this terminal will also not valid and will not work so we are going to close this, this terminal now, Ubuntu terminal, and the whole, um, only the Ubuntu tech terminal by pressing Control Shift W. Windows PowerShell terminal PSE colon backslash users backslash. So currently active is Windows PowerShell in Windows terminal. Now we are going to reset the Ubuntu. To reset Ubuntu, uh, Type uh, press window key and go to settings. Start window. Search window. F. Settings. Le settings comma app comma press right to switch press enter. settings. Settings window. Search box comma find a setting edit blank. Now we are in the navigation. Find apps. Press uh, down arrow. System Bluetooth and network and internet personalization apps not selected five of eleven level apps, one. Apps apps. Press enter. Apps. It will display the detail of the apps menu. Press tab to go to the detail section. Apps button one of one. Try to press tab again. List apps and features one of seven. It says list apps and features one of seven. That means that the focus is currently on the list. And the first item, <coughs> the, the focused item is apps and features one of seven there that means there are three items now select app and feature features press enter apps and features warning icon sign in with your microsoft account to continue app experiences across your devices dot 75 apps found 75 apps found choose where to get apps combo box the microsoft store only left brand recommended right brand collapsed now we are going to press tabs multiple multiple times until we find list of apps sign in button Share across devices grouping, more settings grouping, app list grouping, search apps edit blank. App list, 
that means there's the there's a list of app. Uh, press tap again. Sort by colon, name button. Is the sort for the app. Press tap again. Filter by colon, all drives button. Let's filter for the apps. Again. App list list, alarms and clock one of 75. This is app list, currently focus on alarms and clock. Now we are going to press down and up arrow to find, because we are currently on the list, uh, we use up and down arrow to find the Ubuntu. I think it's down. Films and TV 7. Get Google Chrome. Microsoft Teams. Mozilla. Snipping tool 58 of 75. Sound SoundCloud. Sticky notes. Streamlabs desk. Support assists. Terminal 65. Tip 66. Weather 68. Weather 60. Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows 67 of 75. This is we are currently focused on Ubuntu. Now press tap. To go to the overflow button to show the overflow menu. Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows grouping. Overflow button. I pressed tap earlier. Now we focus on the overflow button of the Ubuntu. Press uh, enter to show the list of the menu. Advanced options one of three. Uh, choose these advanced options. Press enter. Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows. There are no add dash ons currently installed for this app. Dot. Background apps permit. Now we are going to press tab uh, to find reset section and then find reset button because in this in the reset section there is a repair button and there is reset button. We want to find reset button. Now press tab multiple times. Learn more about the op battery usage grouping, defaults grouping, terminate grouping, reset grouping, repair reset. button. Reset grouping, that means this is a section grouping of reset. Press tap again. Reset button. This is reset button. Uh, previously, there is repair button. Repair button. This repair button. We are not going to choose repair button, but to just choose re reset button. Press tap. Reset button. Reset button. Press enter. Pop up dialog. This will permanently delete the optic S data on this device, comma, including your preferences and sign dash in details. Dot. Reset button. So. It confirms us that this is going to delete all the data of this uh, application. The focus is on the reset button. To check again uh, what is the currently focus, press NVDA key plus tap. Reset button focused. So this is reset button. I'm going to press enter to reset. Reset grouping. Reset button unavailable. 5%, 50%, 68%, 91%. I think it's already completed. Uninstall grouping. Uninstall button. Not, not uninstall. I, I was I I pressed uh tap earlier. I'm gonna press shift and tap to go to previous menu. Reset grouping. Reset button. Reset button. I think the reset has been completed. So start window settings. Since the application has been reset reset. Now I'm going back to the desktop. The folder view list. Desktop. Uh we're gonna make sure that that is not listed in the Windows Terminal anymore. Uh, go to Windows Terminal. It's currently open by pressing Alt Tab to Settings one of three. Setting. Windows PowerShell two of three. Windows PowerShell. Windows PowerShell is Windows Terminal. To access the list of the uh, CLI, press Control Shift uh, Spacebar. Windows PowerShell Control plus Shift plus one one of eight. Press down arrow or up arrow to navigate, find Ubuntu. Command prompt control, Azure Cloud Shell control, Git bash control plus Ubuntu dash 20.04 control plus shift plus 5. This is five Ubuntu, eight. the previous Ubuntu. Now try to, that's this Ubuntu already uninstalled. To test it, I'm going to press enter. Ubuntu dash 20.04 terminal left bracket process exited with code 429-496-7. It says process exited with code something. Because this Ubuntu is already uninstalled already reset now to access okay uh currently the, the the status is on our system there is no ubuntu installed i'm gonna close uh, windows terminal by type, uh, pressing alt f4 do you want to close all tabs question yes Dial. okay now back on the windows desktop uh to install Ubuntu back, we need to install it from the downloaded Ubuntu. I'm going to search for Ubuntu in the Windows uh, Start menu by pressing Windows button. Start window. 
Search window. Search box edit blank. Ubuntu. You. Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows, comma, app, comma, press right to switch preview one of one level one. This is on Windows app. So this is the, um, let's say, I don't know the, the, the correct term, but this is the raw version, maybe. It, this is not installed. Now press this to uh, activate the, the downloaded Ubuntu, this one. Press enter. Unknown, Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows terminal blank. There's currently a terminal on the desktop. I'm going to read the... Please read the default Unix user account dot. The username does not need to match your Windows username dot. For more information, visit colon HTTPS colon slash slash AKA dot MS slash Uslissers. Enter new Unix username colon. Okay, so the Ubuntu asks us to enter our Unix name for this Ubuntu. I'm going to type in whisker. S C E R. New password colon. New password. Just for the demo sake, I'm gonna type in uh one two three four five. Double S C. Oh, not that one. Okay. I'm gonna uh speech mode off. Speech mode off first to hide the very complicated password. All right. Speech mode. Speech mode talk. Switch mode talk. I already type in the password. Now press enter. Retype new password colon. Retype new password. I'm gonna speech mode off. Off again. Uh, so anyone doesn't know the password, press enter. It's oh, I need to turn off the speech. Speech mode beeps. Speech mode talk. Speech mode talk. <laughs> now I'm gonna read the previous line. Slash home slash whisker slash dot hush login file dot. This message is shown once a day dot blank blank to check for new updates run colon the list of available updates is more than a week old dot I pressed uh, numpad 7 to read the previous lines blank blank so I press uh, I read from bottom up to see these additional updates run colon app list dash dash upgrade one update can be a blank swap usage call memory use usage of system load blank I think uh, the complete the installation is finished to test I'm going to type lsblm release space dash a to check on the version of the Ubuntu. S B L E E F E release a. No LSB modules are available. Dot distributor ID colon Ubuntu description colon Ubuntu two zero point zero four point three LTS release colon twenty point. So this is Ubuntu twenty point zero four. Uh, now to check, do we have, do we really have clean installation? I mean, we already installed NVM and node.js on the previous video. Type in NVM space dash V as in version to check the currently installed NVM. N V M N V M space dash V. Add it again. Whisker at WSC colon tilde dollar colon VM dash V. Ah, uh, okay. V. Because the long prom, but me, I need to change the prom first by typing ps one yes. tilde tilde bang one equals, equals quote quote U U U U U U U quote PSLSB line release dash a equals quote Ubuntu quote whisker at WSC call whisker at W try again PS 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 one bang. one whisker at WSC call until the dollar PS one one quote quote Ubuntu U U space quote Ubuntu, Ubuntu. now we are we already changed the prompt. Uh, type in NVM space space dash a dash v. N V M N V M space dash v. It again. Ubuntu colon V M dash v. Space space d. Something something wrong with the terminal that I don't understand. I need to type in space every time. I need to uh type one command space. NVM space dash p. Do again. Ubuntu NVM dash v. NVM dash v. Press enter. Command tick NVM tick not found comma. Did you mean colon? So it says and NVM is not found. Uh, that means that no NVM installed. Let's check a uh, note. Sp space. Note, note space dash, dash v. Command tick note tick not found comma. Node is not found too. That means both NVM and node.js is not installed. So there you go. We already have be back to our square root installation Ubuntu, Ubuntu installation. So uh, 
uh, this shows how we still get, can have clean windows installation for our development environment because based on my experience uh, we need to install various kind of tools uh, for many like uh, programming language or library or framework that could uh, uh, like make so many installation in our windows operating system all right hope this video is useful see you again guys bye bye